Hi, it's Jim Jam's time with Candy Cat and his friends, Jane, Arlene, Mary and myself, I'm Sheena. And we're going to bring you some gymnastic related activities you can do at home with your grown-ups or with your brothers and sisters. But before we start, we need to make sure we're safe. So do you have some space around you? And is your floor safe? We don't want anybody slipping or tripping. Now, this week, we're going to go on a mini beast adventure with lots and lots of creepy crawlies. Now, there's something that's very useful when looking for tiny mini beasts, and that's a magnifying glass. But before we start, let's do Candy Cat's favourite rhyme. Can you stand up? Can you stretch up very tall? Can you crouch down very small? Can you jump out very wide? Can you rock from side to side? Should we do that one again? Ready? Can you stretch up very tall? Can you crouch down very small? Can you jump out very wide? Can you rock from side to side? Well done. Now, before I hand you over to Arlene, I need you to go and find me four things. The first thing is a rope or a cord. The second thing is a tissue. The third thing is a stick. It could be a wooden spoon, it could be a paintbrush or even a pencil. And the last thing is a small soft toy. Now, my soft toy is hiding. Shall we see what's inside? It's a fuzzy bee, super stuff. Now, if you check my photograph or picture for the four things you need to get and then go and pause the video and I will see you later. Thank you, Sheena. I'm going to be doing the pulse razor. So we're going to get the blood circulating around the body ready for our stretches later. So this is going to be fast movement. We're going to be crickets hopping grasshoppers jumping and bees flying so we'll get on with the song now let's get moving first one is gonna be bees. oh when the bees go buzzing by, buzzing by. they'll be flying Up. really high Up. they'll be buzz 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 buzzing when the bees go buzzing by ready to do all those different mini beasts we did. I hope so. Well, I'm going to hand you over to Mary now. Bye. Thanks, Arlene. Hi, children. I've got a song for our mobility and stretching. Are you ready? We are going to go and look for some mini beasts out in the garden. Can you copy what I do? Did you do that out in the garden? Big stretch. Well done. 
and we're going to look under some stones. So let's make ourselves very small on our knees. Hug our knees, heads down. What might we find under a stone? An earthworm. Can you make an earthworm with your wrists? Well done. And maybe a wood louse. Hug our knees, heads down. Excellent, well done. Let's go and have a look around the flower pots. Remember, we're going to go out in the garden, big stretch, and look around the flower pots. Can you circle your hips? Excellent. And around the flower pots, we might find some little spiders. Should we make them go down our, pull down our legs, keeping our legs nice and straight? All the way down. All the way, can you make them run away? <gasps> Excellent, well done. Now the next one, we're going to go on our hands and knees. We're going to make a snail because it might live under the pail. Now a pail is a bucket, did you know that? Here we go, here's my snail. Can you do that? Big stretch. Let's back up again. And a big stretch. Ooh, well done. The next thing we're going to look at is maybe some leaves. Let's sit on our bottom. What might we find on a leaf? Can we bring our feet together and open those knees? Can you sit on your leaf? Oh, we might find some bees. Arms out. Can you make a noise? And some butterflies. Can you move from side to side? Well done. And the last place we're going to look is the compost heap. It's big and smelly. Can we have a big wide shape for our compost heap? And things might jump in the compost heap. Can we do some little jumping? Can we bend our knees? Bend our knees. And we're going to find a grasshopper. So lift those knees up nice and high. And don't forget to point those toes. Well done. And did you know anywhere you go in the garden, there are always these little creatures? Do you know what they are? They're ants. In our song, we have to sit down, but be careful when we sit down. Ooh! The ants might go in our pants. <gasps> so brush them off. Check they're not there. Are you ready to do our action? You can look around the garden, turn your heads. What can you see? Mm. Let's have a look. Big stretch. Let's look under the stones. Make us some small. Did you do it to make a earth Can you sit down and Well done. Hello children. Thank you Mary. That looked really good fun, those stretches that you were doing then. So we're going to make some shapes now of some of the bugs that I've got here in my little garden area. 
And the first one we're going to think about is one that's behind me. You can see it coming up on your screen now. And it's this little snail climbing along the wood. So, can you be a snail in our shell? Can you be on your, t on your side this time? In your shell, nice and tight tuck shape. Tuck your head in. And then very slowly, the snail comes out of the shell. Can you stretch long? Let's go on to our tummies and up come those antennae with their eyes here on the top of the stalks. And let's go back into the shell. In we go, into that tuck shape and we're back in our shell. Great. We've got some butterflies, we've got a ladybird. This one coming up on your screen now, this is a moth. And moths come out at night time. Butterflies, you might see lots of butterflies in the day, but moths come out at night. Now, can you lay on your back? Here's our four wings, and I want you to open and close your wings like a beautiful moth who's come out to have a fly around in the night. Brilliant. Okay, let's see who's next. On a pile of wood in here, I've got an earwig. Now you've got the earwig coming up on your screen and you can see that the earwig has a long body with some pincers coming out the back. Let's be the long body and out the back, here are our pincers. Can you try and lift your pincers and maybe you see something that you don't like and you open your pincers here. So, and again, open your pincers. Great. Here's my pond. I've got a pond today and on the pond is a mayfly. You can see the mayfly on your screen. And the mayflies dip down to the water and they just skim the water with their tummies. Are you ready? Onto your tummy, have your wings out and skim down on the water like a mayfly. Great. On the water we have, this is a pond skater. We've got a pond skater coming up on your screen. Pond skaters stay on the water, they don't sink. So we need wide arms, wide feet, and there we are on the water in the pond. You might be able to move forwards and move backwards like a pond skater. Great. There's one more. I'm going to pass you to Arlene to show you what this one does. Up here on my branch is a June bug. Now a June bug has a very hard shell. It's like a beetle. And sometimes you can hold them on your hand. They're beautiful to hold. And they're a little bit scratchy and tickly. But let's see what the June bugs and the beetles do when you go over with Arlene. And I'll see you later. Bye. Thank you, Jane. I'm going to be doing some bounces now, so I thought we might go out in the woods and have a look what we can see. Come with me. Look, I can see a spider crawling up a tree. Let's be a spider. This time I want you to open your legs really wide. Have your hands really wide and walk your hands out as far as you can without falling. And the spider is walking up and down the tree. Do you know, I think it's falling, mate. Let's take a walk over there and have a look what we can see. Have a look. Oh, I can see a beetle. And he's lying on his back. And he's kicking his legs. 
and he's trying to get his feet back on the ground and he flips his wings and he turns on ground. Oh look, on the leaf, it's a caterpillar. Let's be our caterpillar, lie down, legs together, arms straight and lift up. That's going to be our caterpillar today. And he looks as though he's fast asleep. does a caterpillar turn into, do you think? A butterfly, that's right. Listen, listen. What's that noise? It's a bee! And look, he's sitting, so we're going to sit on our bottoms, knees together, feet up, arms up. Can you do that? On your bottom. He's sitting on a flower. Collecting nectar to make some honey for oh my tea. Do you remember all the mini beasts we just were and the balances we did? Let's run through them again. The first one was a spider. You do it with me, where we had our feet as wide as we can, and we put our hands as wide as we can, and we walked out, didn't we? As wide as we can without falling. And the next one we saw, do you remember? It's the beetle on its back. So go on your back and he's waving his arms and legs and then flicked his wings and he rolled over. Then we saw the caterpillar. So go onto your tummy for the caterpillar. Arms out, legs together and lift up. Hold it. And the caterpillar was asleep. Then we saw the bee, didn't we? Sit on your bottom and balance on your bottom. You're sitting on a flower. Do you remember all those moves now? And now it's over to Mary. Hi children. We're going to do some jumping and landing. Are you ready? Do you have your dressing gown belt with you? Or a skipping rope or something similar? And do you have a little soft toy or a pair of socks? Great if you do, you're ready to go. If not, don't worry, you know what to do. Just pause the video, go and find them and then come back and join us. Now we don't need these to start with, so I'm just gonna pop them on the floor. Now, there are three mini beasts that like to jump. One is a tiny, tiny little thing, tiny little one. Can you see what it is? It's called a flea. And it likes to live on animals and mammals. And although it's very tiny, it's excellent at jumping really high. So can we try and jump up really high? How high can you jump? Are you ready? Big jumps, big stretch up in the air. Use those arms, go on, stretch up. I'm gonna watch you jumping, have a go. Grown-ups, you might like to encourage the children to jump by maybe holding the animal up so they can jump up and try and touch their favourite toy. Shall we have a go together? Are you ready? Swing those arms, jump like a flea, nice and high. How high can you go? Well done. Now, the next mini beast that likes to jump, can you see what it is on the screen? It's a grasshopper, it's got really long back legs and it helps it jump a long distance. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put Henrietta Hedgehog over here and I'm going to see if I can jump all the way to her. <gasps> Nearly. Should we have a go together? Have you got something on the floor that's nice and long? Maybe put your soft toy a little bit closer to start with and see if we can jump all the way. Big, long jump, ready? All the way. Did you do our landing? And a big stretch to finish. Well done. I'm gonna see if I can go a little bit further just by moving it up. Are you having a go as well? Get ready, one, two, three. Big jump at the grasshopper. Big landing and a stretch. I wonder how far you can jump. I don't know if I can jump any further. Should we have a go? I'm gonna watch you first. Are you swinging those arms? 
good. Are you looking where you're going to jump? Are you going to make sure your knees are bent when you land? Don't worry if they're apart. Not a problem. And did you stretch at the end? Well done. Let's do it together. Are we ready? I've just moved it a little bit further. One, two, three. Big jump. And a big stretch. Well done. You were excellent grasshoppers then. Well done. I wonder what the next one's going to be. Can you see I've made a little spider's web? Did you know that some spiders can jump? And because they've got eight arms and legs, when they jump, they're quite wide. So I thought we'd have a go at jumping like a spider. They're quite small. I'm gonna crouch down small. I'm gonna use my hands to support me. And I'm gonna jump up and make a big wide shape and land in my web. You're going to watch. Come and join in. Are you ready? We're going to land in our web. Get ready. One, two, three. Big jump up. Big star shape. Great job. Have another go. Doesn't matter which foot you put in the web. Ready? One, two, three. Jump. Big shape. Excellent. Now, some spiders can jump quite a big distance, so we're going to see if we can jump over our spider's web and land in our wide star shape. Shall we have a go? Crouch down really small, you can put your hands on the floor to help you in your squat position. Get ready. One, two, three, jump up and did you jump over your web? I didn't quite make it over mine. How did you get on? Let's have another go. I've got to push a little bit further. Big jump, big explosion. One, two, three, jump! Yes! I made it. How did you get on? So we did three jumps with three little mini beasts. Can you remember the first one? Little flea jumps and they jump really, really high. Little grasshoppers and they jump up a long way. And spiders, small and a big wide shape. Good jumping children. Well done. See you later. Bye-bye. Thank you, Mary. This time we're going to be doing the fine motor skills. So for this, you'll need your wooden spoon. So if you haven't got it, pause the video and come back to us. Okay. You're going to take your wooden spoon and you're going to move it around using your hands. Can you see how I'm gripping and then re-gripping that spoon? And can you take it going the other way? Backwards, turning the spoon around. Can you see my grips moving? Now we've had a practice, we're going to do a rhyme while we move our spoon. Are you ready? It's Incy Wincy Spider. Sing it with me if you know the words. Incy Wincy Spider climbed up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sunshine, dried up all the rain. And go the other way, an incy wincy spider climbed up the spout again. Did you do it? Put your spoon down, because now we're going to sit on the floor and we're going to do another rhyme. Okay, so now we're going to sit down in our pipe position, legs together, nice and straight, pointed toes and a nice straight back. And the rhyme is called Freddy Fling. He's going to tickle from our toes and he's going to walk right up our body in the rhyme. So start off wiggling your feet, wiggling your toes. On my toes is Freddy Fling. Now, are you doing it with me? He's climbing over me, past my tummy, past my nose, on my head, where my hair grows. On oh, my head is Freddy Flea, and now he's climbing down me, past my tummy, past my knees, and on the floor. It's bye from me for today, and I'll hand you over to Mary. Hello, children. 
we're going to do some hand-eye coordination and for this activity you are going to need a little furry friend to help you, one of your favourite little toys. You are going to need a wooden spoon and some tissues. If you haven't got them, don't worry, pause the video and maybe your grown-up can help you find them. So, are you ready? Our first activity. We are going to, I've got Henrietta to help me. I'm going to use my spoon and I'm going to see if I can bring them together and put one on top of the other. Henrietta on my spoon. I'm going to see if I can hold her and balance her there. There you go. If you watch again, I'm going to swap hands though this time. Here we go. Here's Henrietta. Here's my spoon. Ready? I'm going to bring them together. Balance on top. See if she can sit there. There we go. Now you don't want a toy that's too big, otherwise it might be a bit tricky. But there you go. Do you want to have a go at that one? Good job, everybody. Well done. Now the next one we're going to do is we're going to need our tissue. Thank you, Henrietta. I don't need you at the moment. And I've ripped up my tissue and I've made them into pretend butterflies. Can you see them floating? And I'm going to get my wooden spoon and I'm going to pretend it's my butterfly catching net. And I'm going to try and catch my butterflies. Do you want to watch? Here it comes. Ah, I've got one. Do you want to have a go with me? Are you ready? Don't forget to use the other hand if you can. Grown-ups, you might like to help them by lifting up the butterflies for them so they can try and catch. Here comes another one. <gasps> I've caught one. Did you manage to catch one? Should we have another go together? Get ready. I have two butterflies this time. <gasps> Which one am I going to get? Ooh, I nearly caught both. How did you get on? Did you manage to catch any? Well done if you did. Great activity. See you soon. Thanks, Mary. Okay, boys and girls, it's time to do our cool down now. So we've got a little rhyme to do, and we're going to feature some of our mini bugs that you've talked about today, starting with the flea. So, can you crouch down on your toes? And we're going to say, gently, gently, very, very gently, jumps the tiny flea. Gently, gently, very, very gently, he jumps onto me. Oh, and then we've got the bee. Gently, gently, very, very gently flies the bumblebee. Gently, gently, very, very gently, she flies home for her tea. Gently, gently, very, very gently flutters the butterfly. Gently, gently, very, very gently all across the sky. Gently, gently, very, very gently calls the centipede. Gently, gently, very, very gently he crawls from weed to weed. Slowly, slowly, very, very slowly, slithers the garden snail. Slowly, slowly, very, very slowly, she goes back into Shell. Okay, great, really good stuff. I'll pass you to Sheena to finish and I will see you next week. Bye bye. Wow, you've done a lot of exercise today and you've learnt some amazing facts about mini beasts. I've got a couple more facts for you. This first one is a dung beetle. And dung is another word for poop. <laughs> and 
did you know dung beetles they like to live in cow poop and they also like to eat cow poop yuck do you know what this mini beast is that's it it's an earthworm now earthworms don't have any bones in their bodies they move with just their muscles also they don't have any eyes but they can sense when it's night and when it's day and we're now going to sing a little rhyme about a worm that lives at the bottom of the garden are you ready there's a worm at the bottom of my garden and his name is wiggly woo there's a worm at the bottom of my garden and all that he can do is wiggle all night and wiggle all day whatever else the people do say there's a worm at the bottom of my garden and his name is wiggly woo well done give yourselves a big clap and a pat on the back that's all from the gym jams this week and we'll see you again very soon bye bye